Maya the Bee Once upon a time, deep in the forest, there was a honeycomb on a tree. It was an important day for everybody inside, for today was the day when the babies would hatch. But this is a story of someone special. Story of Maya the bee. Come on, bring them out. Hold your places now. Hmm. You will be named Maya. Hmm. Maya. Wait, why Maya? Why do we need names? Uh, I. I wasn't told I will have questions to answer. But, well, we all have names, so that others can call out to us. If I just say, you, B. Huh? Yes. Wood, are you talking to me? <laughs> now you know why we need names. Yes. Because we are all same, but also different. That is absolutely right. That is some good buzzing thought, Maya. Come on, everyone. Follow me outside. Wow! Maya was in awe. It was like being inside a shiny golden balloon. All the bees were busy with their work. Some were cleaning the walls of the beehive. Some dropped pollen into something that looked like a diamond. Some were simply walking in a line. Well, now, you all will be assigned work. The ones cleaning the walls are the cleaners. Then we have the collector bees, the worker bees. Why do we all have to work? What kind of a bee are you? Bees don't ask questions. Oh, don't be so rude, Julian. She's just a child. Maya, we have to work because if we don't, we all will be very confused and useless. If the cleaners don't clean, then the beehive will get dirty. If the collector bees don't collect nectar... What is nectar? Honey is made out of the nectar from the flowers. There! You see them? They are the collector bees. They bring back nectar from the flowers, and then the worker bees make honey out of it. The collector bees bring nectar from the flowers, but how do they carry the nectar? Oh, you sweet little child. In their honey stomach, of course. We all have one. Oh, is that why I feel hungry right now? Oh, <laughs> not at all. That's your food stomach. Ugh, if we keep entertaining her, we will be stuck here all day. Why can't we be standing here all day? Days passed. All the new bees were given different jobs. Some cleaned the beehive from the inside. Some cleared the dry leaves outside. Some collected nectar from flowers. Some guarded the hive against predators. Everyone had a fixed place, except for Maya. She always saw things differently. When everyone cleaned the walls with their hands, she would just blow at the walls and consider the work done. And when the bees would walk in a line... Why are you troubling me? Oh, everyone is worried that I can't find my place. So, I am trying to see if I can walk like you do. Well, you are doing it absolutely wrong. Um, but you are you and I am me. How can I walk the way you do? Tell me, can you walk like this? <laughs> oh, of course I can. See? <laughs> oh, 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 no. What am I doing? You, child, are distracting me. What kind of a bee are you? Oh, no. I am left behind. <laughs> Cassandra, the worker bee, and even the queen herself could not place Maya anywhere. 
she would just look at everything in awe and ask a lot of questions. What's on your head, Big B? <gasps> you can't talk to the queen like that? I am so sorry, your majesty. <laughs> Tell me, Maya, why can't you work where we want you to? Ah, uh, um, I don't know. Everybody here is always so busy. They just work, 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 work. I don't feel happy when I see them. But I felt happy that day when I fell from that diamond thing. And swoosh, and swoosh, I flew. And round and round I went. My dream is to fly. To go outside and see the world. Oh my, what is she blabbering about? Dream? Happy? What kind of a bee are you? Bees don't dream. Oh, your majesty, forgive me, she means no harm. I have been trying to place her myself, but she keeps talking about going out. Maybe that's what she really wants. That is what she must be good at. We can send her out to collect nectar. Well... Asking a bee what she wants to be, <laughs> that's a first. And also very confusing. Bees' places are assigned as soon as they are hatched. But if this is good for the beehive, so be it. She is old enough to be sent out to collect nectar. Train her well and let her out. <laughs> Yes, your majesty. And so, Maya was taught everything about flowers. She was then trained to follow the swarm of bees. She was warned repeatedly to never fly alone. And lastly, she was warned about the hornets. The hornets were the sworn enemies of the bees. They would always try to steal honey and hurt the bees. But we can sting them if they hurt us, right? <sighs> the hornets are getting smarter, Maya. They wear armors every time they attack us. Only their neck can be stung, as they don't wear helmets. But hardly any bee has managed to sting a hornet in a war. You take good care not to be found by them, okay? Hmm, I will take care. Maya waved goodbye to Cassandra and left with the swarm. This was her first trip outside the beehive. The moment she stepped out, Maya was in awe. The trees, the ferns, the flowers. Oh, it's so beautiful out here. I could just buzz here all day. Shh, we are here to work, Maya. Not to just keep buzzing around. Just make sure you are always around your swarm. But Maya wasn't listening. She was busy enjoying her first flight. <laughs> oh, what's that? It's so shiny. Oh, so sorry. I didn't know there was someone there. Hi, I'm Maya the bee. And you? Oh, you too look like a bee to me. And you are pretty lovely, I must say. Oh, wait. Are you copying me? That's very mean of you. Oh! You hurt me! You are being very rude! Well, well, well. Look what we have here. A human disguised as a bee. Dis... Dis... What? Disguised. Meaning you are a human under the clothes of a bee. Bee. I'm not a human. And this is also a bee. But a very rude one at that. That's your reflection, dummy. She is not being rude. You are being rude to yourself. It's all in your head. Just like a human. Trust me, they themselves create most of their problems. Anywho, what are you doing here? I am being rude. Ahem. My name is Maya. Maya, Maya the, the bee. bee. I know. 
I heard you when you introduced yourself to yourself before. Oh, right. Actually, I was out with my swarm to collect honey. Oh, oh no! My swarm! I got away! They're all gone! Wait a minute. You lost your way while you were with your swarm? What kind of a bee are you? Oh, what will you do now? Oh, I don't know. I will collect some nectar and find my way back home, I guess. Well, there is a good bunch of juicy flowers over there you can try. Aww, it's so kind of you to help me out. Thank you, Mr. Grasshopper. The name is Hopper. Flip Hopper. Oh, of course. Flip Hopper. Thank you. Maya collected all honey she could and buzzed her way back home. She flew through the tall trees and bushes, and yet it was a long way to go. Oh, I am tired. Maybe I can rest somewhere for a while. I can keep flying later. Just then, little Maya was looking for a flower. Ah! Oh, oh, let me go! Let me go! <laughs> Not so soon, you little bee. Queen is going to be so happy with me. Us, us. She is going to be so happy with us. We found a cute little bee. Don't call her cute, you idiot. She is our sworn enemy. Oh, you are right. That little ugly bee with cute eyes. Let's just go. The hornets locked up Maya in a small room. Maya was very scared and tried to run away but failed. <laughs> what do I do now? <laughs> Shh! This is a very secret plan, okay? Listen, we are going to teach those bees a lesson tomorrow. Ooh, should I carry my red pen? What? No, not that lesson. We are going to attack their beehive tomorrow. Be ready. Oh. What to do about the one we caught? We will see what to do about her tomorrow morning. Come on now, let's go and help the guards. The hornets were not aware that Maya was listening to their plan. No, they are going to attack my hive. No, I cannot lose hope. I have to save my family. That night, Maya could not sleep. She kept thinking of what to do next. Oh, how do I stop the hornets? Only their neck can be stung as they don't wear helmets. But hardly any bee has managed to sting a hornet in a war. Wait, I've got it! As the sun rose, the hornet came to Maya's room. Hey, little bee! Wait, where is she? Uh... <laughs> Warn the queen. Maya flew as fast as she could and reached her hive. She narrated the whole incident to the queen. Oh, no! Quickly, alert the guards. We have to stay prepared. The hive was now ready for the attack. When the hornets came, the bees attacked with full energy. They flew from above and stung the hornets' necks. Maya had taught the bees well. The hornets were all confused and dazed. Fall back! Fall back! They ran away in no time. Yay! Yay! We won! Hey! Where are you going, hornets? <laughs> <laughs> bees are the best! Bees are bees the best! Bees are the best! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, we are all very thankful to you, Maya. It's your bravery and intelligence that saved us today. This is my home. I will do anything to protect it. Oh, my child, I am so proud of you. Tell me, what do you want to become when you grow up? Uh, mm, I want to be a teacher. I will tell all the bees about my experiences and teach them to be their kind of bees. Their kind of bees? Yes! Everyone 
everyone keeps asking me, what kind of a bee are you? Well, I am my kind of bee. And so are all of us. I want to be my kind of a bee, too. Your kind of a bee is boring. Be my kind of a bee. <laughs> well, Maya, you are a good teacher for sure. And we are happy to have you. <laughs>